All right, this video is going to be the first part of me showing you how I use Nanny Novel uh, to make my visual novel that I'm working on. Now, this isn't going to be like a complete overall total tutorial. I may not go through everything that Nanny Novel has to offer. In fact, I don't plan on using characters really. I will be taking backgrounds that I make in Daz Studio with the characters already in the image and putting them directly in there. But I will be going through how to make choices, how to show the background, how to change music, how to set up a new script, and all that type of stuff. So without further ado, let's just kind of get into this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new script. So I'm going to go right click into where I have my assets and scripts. I'm going to create Nanny Novel, Nanny Novel Script. I'm going to name this something kind of simple. I'm just going to, it's a prologue. So I'm just going to go pro and I'm going to have two prologues, one for the main female character, one for the main male character. So we're going to call this pro, pro A for prologue A. I'm going to right click on that. Um, and we are going to, the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to, before we show anything, we're going to start the snoring music. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to add some music to the scene. And the way we got to do that, we need to go to assets back here. We need to go to, we're actually going to create a new folder. So we go to right click, create folder, and we're going to have this be mute. We're gonna have it just, we're gonna call it sound because we're gonna put our sound effects, I think, and our music in the same thing. So let's get into there. We'll right click. Let's see, import new asset. And I have all right, and I have a bunch of music that I already downloaded from my ep uh, epidemic sound. Um, and we're going to just take these. And we're just going to open them all and put this in here. So now they're going to all be in the sound folder. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to take these sounds and actually put them someplace where Nanny Novel is going to be able to recognize those. So we're going to go to the top. We're going to hit Nanny Novel, Nanny Novel, Resources, Audio. And we've already got a few of these in here, so we don't need to necessarily take the ones that we already have. Um, in fact, just to make this a little bit better, we're going to just get rid of the ones. Let's see, what do we have? ES Insight Night Insects, we already have in here. Kindred Spirits, we already have in here. All right. So we've got those kind of where we want them. So now we're going to just take these. We're going to drag them all over into the bottom of the list on the audio. It's going to populate them here. Now, on the name side, that's what we're going to use to call to them in the script. So we don't want to type out all of this. So I know that I've got... We're going to use a snore, so we we'll hit snore, and we'll call it snore one, because I'm sure within this visual novel, we will have more than one person snore, and we're not going to want to use the same sound effect for all of them. So we're going to have snow one, snore one, and then I know I want the crosshairs one is going to be the one that when she wakes up and is frantic, she's going to, um, this is the music that's going to play. So we will call this something easy so it's so prologue is what we're in so we'll just go pro let's go underscore one and we'll worry about the rest later and we'll kind of name those all right so next thing we're going to do we're going to go back into scripts we're going to go to pro a script which is the one we're in and we're going to go at bgm and snore underscore one all right so now we've got something if we were to hit play we would just have the screen and it would have the snoring sound and that's it that's not really gonna work for us so let's go back 
into assets. We're going to go to backgrounds. And we've got our prologue background. So we're going to create a brand new folder within back within the prologue back. And we're going to call it I call this pro a again this time it's under the backgrounds and we're going to add our backgrounds that I created for this scene so we're going to right click import new assets and we're going to go to within DAS I created a render folder for just for this all right so we're going to go into this and we're going to I named uh, all of my waking one, which is, this is the scene we're doing where, she, where she's waking up, W1 dash, and then each of the different, so W1 dash one, W1 dash two, and all that makes it a little bit easier. So we're gonna import all those. So the first thing we want is one dash one, but now once again, we need to put it someplace where Nanny Novel is going to know where to grab it. So we're gonna go back to resources, we're gonna go backgrounds, I'm going to bring this up so we can get to the bottom of this and we're going to take left click like this i'm going to drag it right here and once again we don't want the names like this but i've got this really simple all i need to do is get rid of that on each of these all right so we've got those in there so w1-1 is going to be the first one we want so let's get out of this so we're going to go back into our script and we're going to go at back w1-1 and save this bad boy now when we hit play oh this is not going to turn out the way i wanted it and i'm going to show you why I've already started working on this game, so it's going to a completely different scene. So we need to go back and we need to go to Nanny Novel, Configuration, Scripts, and I had it on Prologue 1, but I'm adding a scene before that Prologue. So we're going to go back into where it says Prologue 1, and we're going to change that the start game script to pro a so it's telling me the bgm snore underscore one resource not found so let's see if we can figure out why we're going to go to nanny about novel resources audio ah there we go for some reason, I thought I had the underscore in there. I did not. So let's go back in here. Let's get rid of that underscore. And it's just snore one. Save that. Get rid of that pain. Now let's try this again. <laughs> there we have her snoring. Now what we want to do is we want that to be just for a couple seconds like that and then we want her to wake up. So what we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to add another background. But the first thing we want to do is we want to, oops, we want her, we want this to go on for just a little while. So we're going to go at wait and then at seconds. So we're going to go... 1.5 seconds of her snoring. And the thing is, we don't want the player to get bored. I want to make it obvious that she's sleeping. Um, and I might not actually add a few more backgrounds. I'll have her, you know, th there's probably going to be like three or four images of her sleeping so that there's a little bit of uh, um, expression change and it's a little bit more lively. But for right now, this will work.
So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want her to, uh, we want her to stop snoring in, right before she, her, she opens her eyes. So we're going to do stop, stop BGM snore one. And let's immediately st start the kind of more hectic music. So I think I had, what was it? It was pro at BGM pro underscore one. Let's see. Let's go back into this and look at it. Tool, nanny novel resources audio at pro underscore one at BGM W one dash two. If I did this right, if I did this right, it should start off with her snoring plus her background of her sleeping. It, that should happen for one and a half seconds. Uh, we should just then stop her snoring, um, start the more hectic music, and then show her opening her eyes in panic. And we're going to see if that works. <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to do add back w1 slash 2. I'll save that. <laughs> okay, so now with, for effect, obviously we're going to change it up just a little bit. Um, she wasn't sleeping long enough, but at the same time, I don't know that I want to have the same scene there however what we will do we will change this up just a little bit uh so we could go if you notice over here on the right side it, we could see our script and we can actually go right in here so we want to let's change that to three seconds and we're going to apply that <laughs> Uh, in the next uh, tutorial, I'll show choices. Uh, I'm going to give her some choices um, on this, but for right now, we're not going to. All right, so we're going to get back into this. So let's go. Oops. Back. Let's go at back. W1 slash 3. At wait. One at wait one at back W one dash four and then we want this to go into the prologue. So we're gonna go at and then we're going to do the next script that we want it to go into which is prologue one and i could simplify that by making that just a little bit shorter so what i might change this script to is pro one so we have our pro a well pro one actually you know what we're not going to worry about that right now. What we want to do is we want to see how this turns out. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to save the script so that it actually shows up on there. There we go. Ha! That was kind of funny. <laughs> I did something wrong there. Let's see. Let's see what we did wrong here. So we want to go from 
So we're going to do is so we're going to go at go to prolog one, and then that's going to send it to the next theme. So without further ado, let's save this so that it actually makes those adjustments. It actually works right. Let's hit play. <laughs> So that's that's kind of the basics um, to just setting up a scene. So we literally just have um, we have our backgrounds, we have our music, uh, we have our wait commands to kind of pace it, even though the pacing on that still isn't perfect. Uh, and then we have a go to another script. Um, but that's all I got for today. Um, stop back by, show you a few more things, and as I learn how to use this asset from the unity store nanny novel which i really enjoy so far but the document i'm not gonna lie the documentation on how to use it isn't the greatest so i'm going through a lot of time um i'm sometimes spending a couple hours just tr trying to figure out something that when i'm done with it seems really really simple so if i could save you that time that would be awesome so uh just subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know next time I do one of these tutorials. Everybody have a great day.